And away they go from the 1400 meter marker. Point of sale came out running and right there is Cop that and on the outside that chest lane is trying to improve position. African Divas on the outside. Then comes Jack's Bird followed by Nechera. Sweet Empress is racing between runners. Then comes After Dark about five or six lengths off the leader. Nechera is very, very difficult. A hard ride on the right-hand side. Jack's Bird's now about five or six lengths off the leader. Imperial Seal is towards the inside, about seven lengths off them. Shoot the Wagon also got about that seven lengths to track down. Then Turkish Lira and T-Total. As they move to the 600, Duchess Lane now leads it. African Divas back in second. Cop that is on the outside and also their point of sale. And behind that one, Sweet Empress down the inside after dark. The outside is Jack's Bird and then comes Shoot the Wagon. Top of the lane and Duchess Lane takes it up. Now point of sales being asked to stretch. Jack's Bird between runners. Towards the inside, Jack's Bird's running around but is coming home well as point of sale tries to challenge Duchess Lane. But Jack's Bird's a big runner on the inside. And it's Jack's Bird that's the one to beat. And Jack's Bird not for the catching. Jack's Bird will win it. Second to point of sale. The third position will go to Sweet Empress and the fourth position, Duchess Lane. Number 11, Jack Spurd. Michael Roberts, Ashton Aries for Dr. Nick Lover Shane and bred by Shevely Stud. The two year old filly by Jackson is the winner and it pays up at 440. It was the second favourite on the toads. Second to the favourite, number 12, and that's point of sale. Then it's about six or seven lengths back to number 10, Sweet Empress. And then Duchess Lane, further back in the field, Imperial Seal and two total. And then came Shoot the Wagon. We'll take a look at that head-on shortly. And Jack's Bird moves from out to the middle of the track and starts to put in a claim. And then goes on to score. And it's only its second time at the track. And Jack's Bird goes on to score. One or two reminders. Still very green, but wins it well until the running of the fourth race. Back to the studio. And number 11, Jack Spurd, is the horse you'll need for the first leg of the pick six, the daughter of Jackson. Well done to the boys at Shivali Stud. Information passed through by Shirley Costa. We thank her for that. Uh, Johannes and the grooms, well done. And, of course, Dr. Lubbershey and Michael Roberts. But first, let's have the winning apprentice, uh, Ashton Aries, who's uh, ridden uh, uh, very nicely uh, from the draw, Ashton. But uh, talk us through it. How do things work out for you? You know, this filly broke well. Obviously, it's a two-year-old. First time at the course. A little bit green, unlucky from the draw, but she won a nice race. When you moved into the straight, uh, it was Josef and Warren, but uh, you always seem to have him in your sight. Yes, and there's a strong Edwin, so I just nursed it through it and she won a nice race. Just want to say a big thank you to Mr. Roberts and to Mr. Labashay. And uh, how's things going at the academy, young man? Oh, good, you know. Just looking forward uh, to qualify soon. A uh, big thank you to Mr. Roberts once again. How many winners now? Nine to one. 91. Anything else you like uh, later on uh, on the race card? You know, race 7 I'm riding. Stormborn Thunder with Mr. Miller. I, th I think so you'll be right there. A horse that enjoys racing up uh, handy, but uh, with the Z win, you tactical ride? Yes, you know, obviously probably one or two to lead. But if not, you have to use plan B. Well, these horses, uh, colours that you've been riding in for Dr. Labuschagne have been kind to you. You've had a lot of winners for Dr. Labuschagne. Yes, you know, I must be honest, Mr. Labuschagne gave me a lot of support. You know, so I'm just grateful and I'm just happy to ride a winner for them. Well done, yeah. Thank you. Lovely. Aston Aries. Let's get Michael in. And uh, a lot of joy this win brings you, Michael, because there's a lovely story behind this horse. And thanks to Shirley for, you know, passing on that information. But the grooms at Shivli, firstly, they must be over the moon. Yes, they must be, Dees. I must say, you know, um, I usually go out to Shivli when I'm down the Cape in January. And I saw on a farm there and I didn't know it was a groom's horse. And she was my she was the pick of the fillies, you know, my eyes uh, of the ones that I thought we could afford. 
And uh, then Vaughan told me that she was a groom's horse, which is very nice for them, you know. Um, she's a nice filly. She was always, she, she class, you know, she uses class. Uh, you could see there was a lot of improvement in her, uh, probably more Al Mufti than Jackson. But uh, she's just improved and improved. And um, when she finished second, I expected a nice run from her. But she surprised me a little bit by running second. I thought she'd probably be about three, four lengths behind them. And when I looked at this race today, and you know, I'm not scared to take on one horse, and I thought to myself, you know, she, she'll have to be pretty good. You know, the only thing could beat us today was a bit of bad luck, but Ashton got her out nicely, got her in, rode a nice race, and, uh, and also a big thank you, I must say, to Dr. Lavachet. You know, he's a big supporter of the stable, been in racing for a long time. I've known him since a kid. And uh, Shirley and Doc was over at the Derby with us, and uh, I said, wait for Jack's bird, and yes, Jack's bird, and it's nice to have them, of course, too. And to my staff, a big thank you. Anything else later on, Michael? No, I'm finished now, thank you. Well done. Just quickly, before you go, uh, the final field yesterday, Vodacom, Durban, July, and uh, do you have an early fancy, or are you going to have a look at the gallops tomorrow? Well, I'll keep an eye on the gallops, but, I mean, uh, it's a very competitive race this year, I believe, you know. Um, I, my... My heart tells me do it again because he's the best horse in the race, um, but very competitive. And it's you know it's, I'm so pleased to see that all the good horses had, had got two dr good draws, good positions. So it, you know it's going to be a nice race, and um, may the best horse win. Thanks, Michael. Thank you. Dr. Labuschagne has been waiting patiently, and of course uh, he put his hand up for the grooms at Chivali to buy the horse for Michael, and she's turning out to be a lovely filly, Doc. It's a very special day for me today. Firstly, uh, at Jackson, as you know, was owned by a great friend of mine, uh, uh, Jack Mitchell, who passed away a short while ago. And uh, secondly, the, broom, uh, the horse was bred by Johannes the groom at Chevely Stud. So this goes down very well as far as I'm concerned. It's a great thrill to have another winner. Hopefully there are many more out of her. That's a nice, you know, initiative by the stud farm as well. So Vaughan is to be given credit as well. I think so. Uh, uh, it's extra money for the grooms. Uh, they have a hard life, and if they can win a, on a day like this, it's wonderful. Well, being at the derby with Michael and him telling you weeks before the horse can run that it can win, so you must have come into the race today with a lot of confidence, Doc. I did, but 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 no money, unfortunately. I'm not not a punter. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well done, Doc, and enjoy it. Well done to Dr. Lubbershey, Michael Roberts, and of course, Shivli Stad Vaughan and the boys and Johannes the groom and their uh, team. Well played here with 11 Jacks Bird, 11, 12, 10, and one. And that's the way they cross the line. Race number three. Up next, it is jackpot time. Race number four. Time to jot down 1400 hours. Two o'clock.